K-I-L-R Taylor Games Hello gamers, simmers, and pilots. I am the Killer Gamer, and welcome to my tour around the world. At least that's what I call it with the other simulators. I'm just being consistent, even though we can't be consistent through all of it on this one, which is Microsoft Flight Simulator 2. We will try to do what we can, um, but we are limited to the sublogic scenery discs and that's it we can't create scenery there's no scenery to download so anyway uh, let's talk about where we are and where we're going and how we're gonna get there and all that fun stuff so here is the map we're right there at Aurora Municipal and we're going here to Clow, right? Yes. <laughs> I was thinking it was Joliet, but Joliet is later on. I think I'm going to make sure. Okay, yes. So Joliet is uh, a little bit later on. I know you be. I know you're thinking, what does it matter? Well, I'm doing the same exact flight plan as I am on the other simulators. Now you might be thinking, why? Because I want to be able to set it up to where you can compare from simulator to simulator. And if we're doing it from different areas I don't know it, it it's easier for me to stay consistent with all of them if I'm doing it like that and it just just gives you a fun way to compare the simulators uh, with each other you know you could sit there and watch today's flight and then watch it on um, flight simulator 4 flight simulator 5 flight simulator flight simulator 98 because I try to do something different uh, with each of them, uh, if I can. Uh, you know, just just for fun. But anyway, yep, that is where we're going. We're going to Clow. Clow! And even though it's Clow International, it's not an international airport. They just have it in the name. It's usually a, a kind of a relief airport where uh, smaller planes can land out so they're not having to go to Midway or O'Hare. All right, um, let me pull this back up again so we can say how we're going to get there. So we're going to use DuPage, Vor, here. And we're going to go at a radio of, we'll say 130, which should bring us about there if we tune in the Joliet from 30, it should intersect right about here. And then we, t we uh, turn due south and we should be able to line up with Clow pretty decently so that is how we're going to get there and we will go ahead and get started here by tuning everything in and we should already have yeah we already have DuPage tu tuned in here so we'll change this to 
One, three, zero. This is one advantage over the Commodore 64. Couldn't use a mouse on it. You had to use the keyboard. You can use the keyboard on this and you can use the mouse. So that's kind of nice. All right. Um, Joliet is 112.3. So your left mouse button takes it down. Right mouse button takes it up. And zero three zero, so it's almost set up here. There we go. We're ready to go. Can I do the? Okay, no, it, that doesn't work for throttle. I was just curious. All right, flaps up all the way. F five, and well, I think we are ready to go. Let's go to the end of this runway here, and we'll we'll take off from there. So F2, we'll start doing nothing. F3, we'll bring our throttle up. Now I've done something a little different. Uh, I've mentioned on the previous flights that on DOSBox I have it set at 60,000 cycles. I've reduced it almost in half. Right now it's at 34,720 cycles. So we'll see if it's going a little too fast or not. It may not make a difference. <laughs> the sound effects sound like something from the Atari 2600. Pew, 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 pew. Sort of turn here. Oh, I, I see with the keyboard. I'm so used to using three and nine for the throttle, and it that does not work for this version. Come on, start moving. I'm trying to get lined up here. Which is not exactly easy when it's just a line. All right. I think that's good enough. F4, full throttle. Boy, that engine sounds weird. There it goes. Just, I don't remember hearing the All right, lift off. We are up in the air. We can see downtown Chicago with a bunch of black <laughs> squares. All right, landing gear up. G, in case you're wondering, it's sitting right here for up. And we want to head away from... We're going to want to head probably at a radial of 100. Not a radial, but change our course to maybe not due south. Maybe around one, 150, I think. Right about there.
question is, where the, where's the needle? I can't tell. Let's change it and see if we can find it. Okay, not that way. Off. It was over here. Okay, well, then what we need to do is we need to turn this direction. Bring our throttle down. I'd like to level out around 3,000. Oh, is it me or does it still seem like we're going too fast? Okay, what airport are we looking at there? That's uh, that's DuPage. That's right. We were going at the right vector. I forgot. When you're going from... Wherever that needle's at, you want to try to go on the opposite side of that. I forgot about that. We were doing the right thing. If it's two... That's where, if the needle's on this side, you want your vector... You want your course to be lower on this side, basically. So if the number is going lower, that way the number's going higher, that way, so... Usually if the needle's on this way, you want to be... You want to be lower than that. Needles on this side, you want to be higher than it. If you're from, it's the opposite. Whoops. And we are still going up. Bring our throttle down some more. Or is it? Maybe it is that direction. Because I was thinking about this, the 030. No, that is correct. We gotta go the other direction. Alright. That should do it, if we're going here. Whoa. Well, we don't want to take pull power off. That's not a wise idea. Well, that's not it, is it? Might be it. Boy, this simulator is flying quickly. Is it because of the cycles? You notice our flights are not very long? Commodore 64 seemed longer than this. Either that or these airports are not spaced. No, they got to be spaced out the same way because I've I've tested out the x y coordinates and they they do match up. Either that or that is further. That's that's at the right location. And we can just see further than normal.
you know, I try to look at these seconds to see if it's going faster than it should, but if you do 24 1,000, 25 1,000, 26, okay, it does seem to be going faster, doesn't it? Thirty-eight, one thousand. Thirty-nine, one thousand. Forty, one thousand. Forty-one, one thousand. Forty-two, one thousand. I don't know. It seems to be working. Ah, oh, I'm getting messages soonish. I guess that means my daughter is on her way home. I called out because I feel sick. I'll be back soon. She was going to work today. Well, we're definitely not at the point to be able to turn due south. Can we still see Aurora back here? We can. See, I can't. Re I I don't remember being able to do that with Flight Simulator Two. I don't remember being able to see both airports. It was like one or the other. That may be why. That might explain why. When I think I'm getting closer to the airport, we're not actually as close. I think the visibility is better. So it's actually able to see further than the Commodore 64. Let's take a look at the map here. Yeah, see, you don't really see anything there. Okay, this is beginning to go, so let's start turning in and following that needle. And we better do a much quicker the job than that. That's weird. I'm like banked and then it just like barely wants to turn. That's kind of weird. All right. Hold on. Let's be careful here. I don't want to be that close to the airport. That should be good enough. The basic idea is we want to we want these two needles to be somewhat centered so that way it tells us that that, you know, we're at the right airport. Uh, and see, this is beginning to move now, too. So that is definitely the right airport. So we're going to be turning due south. Yeah. And that other airport in the background right there is Lewis University. Lewis University, it goes uh, east-west. Clow goes north-south. And this is how you navigate without a GPS. <laughs> and we better start getting some flaps down. And in fact, let's get another thing of flaps down. Let's get our landing gear down. And let's go back and forth here. Whee! Not quite. Uh, 
We're kind of coming in. Kind of coming in. See, look at this. I'm banked and it's not turning. When trying to line up, I'll usually... I'll wait for it to go off screen and then I'll turn a little bit more get it bring it back on screen so we're making these slight turning adjustments something serious here if we want to line up with that runway and it looks like we're kind of overshooting it a bit and we need to increase our power because we are going down I don't want to go down that quickly be careful of our airspeed Come on, move over. My family likes to have detailed conversations <laughs> via text. bring down the power a little bit more. Technically you're supposed to shut your power off, stall, and land. That doesn't quite work very well with Flight Simulator 2. Because we've crashed twice. Because our airspeed got too low. And when it when this thing stalls, it likes to nosedive quickly. Which doesn't help us one bit. Come on. On the runway, there you go, there you go, we got it, no. Up, 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 up. Got it. Cut the power. Break. Okay. So you can hold down the period button. You don't have to constantly hit it. The problem I had as I was doing the comma before. <laughs> well, my button is not working. Well, it's because I wasn't hitting the right key. All right. We're here. Cloud International. Boy, that was quick. Maybe we're not flying a Cessna. Maybe it's a Learjet. No, I know it's a Cessna. <laughs> it's a Cessna with Learjet engines. All right, anyway, thanks for joining me on this flight. My goodness, I'm getting tons of text. I'll have to check that. But anyhow, um, I hope you'll check this flight out on the other simulators and join me for the next leg of our journey. Until then, ha!
be safe out there. And if you had fun watching this flight, then you might enjoy watching the same flight on one of these other simulators. It's a great way to compare the difference between them, but it's also a nice way to relive some old memories or make some new ones. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around in the wild blue yonder.